Place the IGV on a stable work surface. Look into the set screw access hole to locate the worm gear set screw. If the set screw is not visible, use a stepper motor driver with a 4-pin connector to turn the worm gear until the set screw is visible through the access hole. Pliers can be used to turn the worm gear if a stepper driver is not available. Using a 2.5mm hex tool, remove the set screw. The set screw will be difficult to loosen at first due to Loctite. If the set screw does not come out of the access hole, it can be removed later after the motor has been pulled out. Using a 4mm hex tool, remove the IGV motor feed through screws. Note the location of the IGV motor wire connections. Pull the motor wire connectors from the feed through pins. Do not pull the wires directly. While supporting the bottom of the motor, pull the motor shaft straight out from the worm gear. Do not force the motor. If the motor shaft does not easily slide out, tap the motor on the locating screw to free the shaft from the worm gear. A flat screwdriver can assist prying the motor out while supporting it at the bottom to pull straight out. To use the worm gear bearing collar tool, the set screw must be out of the way. Insert the collar tool through the motor feed through port and get the pins fully seated in the collar. The worm gear bearing collar of a left hand thread. Turn the collar clockwise to remove it. After removing the collar, turn the IGV throat housing clockwise to push the worm gear out and pull it through the motor feed through port. Using a 4mm hex tool, remove the IGV throat assembly screws. The IGV throat screws will be difficult to loosen at first due to Loctite. Pull out the IGV throat assembly, the IGV is now disassembled. To remove the bottom bearing, push it out through the access port below the bearing. Before assembling the IGV, ensure the housing is clean and free of debris. Prepare the throat assembly for installation. Check for the IGV position magnet in the throat assembly. If the blade levers get locked out of position, ensure they are facing the same direction and are down in the housing slots. With the blades in the closed position, place the throat assembly into the housing with the thread facing the worm gear location. Turn the throat until it hits the stop in the closed position. Put a small amount of Loctite on the threads of the IGV throat assembly screws and place them in throat assembly. Excessive amounts of Loctite is unnecessary. Tighten the screws in a cross pattern. Verify the throat assembly opens and closes the IGV blades. Turn the throat assembly to the fully open position. The worm gear must be pre-assembled before installation. Place the large upper bearing over the top of the worm gear and secure it in place with the ring clip. If the small bottom bearing is not in the housing, slide it over the bottom of the worm gear. Insert the worm gear through the motor feed through port. 
a tool with a diameter that fits in the top of the worm gear can be used to assist guiding the worm gear in place. Align the bottom of the worm gear and bearing in place. The threads on the throat assembly can be used to push the worm gear into place and ensure it has reached bottom. Install the worm gear bearing collar with the shoulder over the worm gear bearing. Place the worm gear bearing collar on the collar tool pins. The worm gear bearing collar of a left hand thread. Turn the collar counterclockwise to tighten it. Verify the worm gear turns freely. Turn the worm gear until the set screw hole is visible through the set screw access hole. Prepare the IGV motor for installation. Wrap the wires around the top of the motor. Then push the ends under the wrapped wires. Pull back to tighten the wires around the motor. Feed the wires up and out of the feed through port. Slide the motor shaft into the top of the worm gear with the motor locating screw in the notch of the IGV housing. Verify the motor shaft is visible through the set screw access hole and the flat of the motor shaft is facing up. Using the 2.5mm hex tool, put a small amount of Loctite on the threads of the set screw. Install the set screw in the worm gear through the set screw access hole. While tightening the set screw, push the top of the motor to ensure full engagement of the motor shaft in the worm gear. With the o-ring in place on the IGV motor feed through, install the motor wires in correct order. The red wire connects to the pin closest to the feed-through locating notch, followed by the gray wire to the left of the red, the yellow wire below the gray, and the black wire below the red. Twist the wires counterclockwise four times and install the feed-through with the locating notch over the locating pin. Ensure the wires are wrapped around the motor and free from contact with any corners or edges of the motor and feed through port. Install and tighten the feed through screws, leaving the screw with the retaining clip slightly loose. The IGV is now assembled and ready for testing. To test the IGV functionality, use a stepper motor driver with a 4-pin connector to turn the IGV fully open to fully closed. This test can also be performed after installation on the compressor, using the service monitoring tool software by putting the compressor in manual mode, and driving the IGV position to 110% and back to 0%. The IGV can now be installed to the compressor 